ETH, we start with one of our chart. First of all, if we refer to what analyzes in my last video when the price was within this move, because we mentioned we put this one as a correction. And we mentioned if we get any reversal, we can look for buy. And one of the options was to have entry above this. Anyway, as we can see, the price didn't reverse. And uh, even beside that, we mentioned the price can, we can expect the price to correct. That's why we mentioned if we get the reversal as a corrective, we are not going to look for trade. Anyway, we want to see how we can look for chart as we can see the price is correcting and we are looking at this correction relative to this. And the best thing is if the price give us one more drop with the breakout of this low, because at that time we will see the divergence. Okay, but the next down move, we cannot confirm whether the price can break the previous low or not. For me, I prefer if we get this correction finish, I mean over, that's mean if we get a one more drop, then we can put that this one as a one more tree, all right? as a one, two, three, any reversal from there, we can look for buy, all right? But I need to highlight here, it doesn't mean we have to get the price to give us one more drop before we get the reversal. How about if the price reverse from here? Because in, I mean, my other analysis, other video we mentioned, what we get here is because of the Bitcoin, most of the chart, they have a similar movement. That means there is a possibility even the price reverse from here. Either the price reverse from here or give us one more drop, any reversal will take the trade. This is what I was keep highlighting in my analysis. For long term, we're looking for the reversal. But the best thing is if we get one more drop, because at that time we can confirm this correction relative to this with the last move and we can see the divergence. Okay. And how about if the price drop from here? Can we look for sell? For me, I won't suggest it because the only way is having a tree below this. All right. The best things, the best way if we want to look for sell, if this one gives us one move up, we see this flat, then from there we can look for sell. If anyone wants to look for sell, technically this is the best. All right. That's why if the price drop from here, I don't think we can look for sell. All right. As we mentioned, if you right now we're looking at this one as a correction, if we get one any drop, any reversal from there, we can look for buy. Or if the price reverse from here, any sharp move flag, we can take the trade. Having entry above this, above this correction, which is 2500 is not really good, unless we put above here, around here, which is 2585, all right? If he wants to have entry above this correction, maybe we can put around 2585. Why we don't wanna put it around here? Because we mentioned we can get one move up, this one tend to flat for one more drop. But we should know that if we want to have entry above this, in case the price sharply reverse from here, and we want to price break and continue the price tag, we see it's not moving within the first or second hours we take out the trade. But we need to know that having entry above this is really risky. Okay? The only times we can move over and trade around 2500 if the price drop and the break the previous low. But the best thing is if we get the reversal. And it asks me if we get any trade setup. And as I mentioned, if we get one more drop. Anyway, we don't have any trade setup. And we, right now we're looking at this one as a correction in relative to this for one more drop before we get the reversal. And if I move to higher time frame, we don't have anything to discuss at what we mentioned, the price can consolidate for before we get the reversal. And even based on one of four hour chart. And even if, as we can see, if the, even based on four hour chart, if the price gives us one more drop, you can see the divergence here. Anyway, we don't have any trade setup for long term. As we mentioned, we're looking for buy. And what we want, we want to see the price drop and at least break to 100. Then from there, if we get any reversal, we can look for buy. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.